So uh, first we talked to Jean. She's a mother of a two-year-old and a five-year-old. And she comes here weekly because the older one is taking a science class here. Um, she likes that there's enough to do for the two-year-old to be occupied during that time and the fact that there is no entrance fee. We then talked to the twins, Henry and Thomas, who are both four years old. Their favorite animal is the rabbit there. And during the interviews, we were um, next to the rats, and one of the twins, Henry, asked, What do rats eat? To which we could not, to, uh, which we could not answer because the information wasn't available on the cage. And perhaps there should be more of an educational component to the zoo section. Um, so after this, we went. We wanted to talk to someone who worked at the museum and zoo, and we were surprised that it took us a little bit of time to actually find a staff member, but we were delighted when we got to talk with Inez, who is one of the employees who's been there for 17 years, and she's been able to see the exhibits not only grow in quality and complexity, but also quantity. Um, and she said one of the reasons that she's like been delighted to work at the same place for so long is that she really feels that the kids love the hands-on learning aspect and oftentimes kids will say that it's my own personal Zuzam, um, which makes her really happy and she talks about just like loving to come to work every day. Um, she mentioned that improvements she'd want to make if she was redesigning the facility would be improving staff bathrooms, drop off, um, being able to close off certain exhibits while keeping the rest of the museum open, um, as well as adding multiple entrances to the facility.